Good afternoon, dear viewers. For uh, this episode, I'm going to discuss the topic about the salary that the churches is uh, giving to their church workers, especially those who are uh, in the front lines of their propagation work or the ministry. This is uh, converting the non-Christians or the non-believers to the church. That is uh, the primary work of those in the ministry of propagating the faith. Well, most of the churches is uh, doing their part of reimbursing or giving a monetary compensation for the service of the church workers and uh, on this uh, list is uh, primary are the pastors the ministers and the priests who is uh, the main the main servant for the edification of the believers and the propagation of the faith and their uh, respective territories assigned to their uh, local churches. So, almost all the churches is uh, doing their part because uh, that subject is being covered in the Bible. But the Jehovah's Witnesses is uh, not doing this or they are not paying their church workers, especially those who are in the front lines of their propagation work. And what I mean here is uh, the regular pioneers the ministerial servants and the elders in the local congregations of their churches. Their primary reason for that is that they should give the message of the good news to the non-believers pray of church. But as I have discussed in my uh, uh, last video, it will uh, make the members of the Jehovah's Witnesses, especially if they serve on those uh, capacity which I uh, mentioned, the regular pioneers, which they call the full-time ministers of their churches, the elders, and the ministerial servants. They are not being paid of their services to the uh, church and to their ministry. Their primary verse that they quote to defend that kind of arrangement within their charts is Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 wherein uh, it says there that they should not ask payment for their services to the non-believers. Of course, they should not do that because all the items or the things being said at uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 is uh, not to be or should be given to the people or to the non-believers free of charges like uh, healing their sick or resurrecting their dead those things that uh, is being mentioned, that is being mentioned at uh, that particular verse, Matthew chapter 10 verse 8, is not happening now on the Christian churches and even inside the church, especially inside the church of the Jehovah's Witnesses. So, they have no business quoting that uh, particular verse to defend their policy of not paying their frontliners on their uh, propagation work, the regular pioneers, the elders, and the ministerial servants. 
the Bible is very clear regarding this matter. For example, if we're going to quote the uh, First Timothy chapter five verse seventeen, it says there that the elders or the overseers that is uh, doing their work in a fine way, especially if they are serving well and the teaching and speaking uh, and the congregation and also, of course, to the non-believers to propagate the faith, they should be accorded well and the translation, the new translation, they translate it double honor. Well, uh, the King James Version also translate it that way. But, what is meant by double honor? It is just uh, accord, uh, giving respect to the elders who are uh, uh, serving in a fine way with so much respect. Well, respect is, uh, should be given, should be given to those who are leading in the, the in the churches but if we will if you will uh, look at the marginal references of the new world translations the own bible own version of the bible of the jehovah's witnesses they give uh, two reference verses for that uh, particular word uh, word double honor the the first one is acts chapter 28 verse 10 and it says there, Paul says there that they were uh, they received uh, respect from their fellow believers by by way of their providing them of so many gifts. So it is material, material things that he is mentioning there that is the way the believers the fellow believers honored Paul and his companions so it is material things and the other verse that they provided and their marginal references is Hebrews chapter 13 verse 17 uh, which is the respect and the obedience that we should uh, give to those who are leading in the church so it is clear there at their own marginal reference, that uh, the double owner means two things. Providing material support to those who are uh, doing the leadership and the churches and those who are the leading the propagation work in the church. They should be provided with material support. It is according to their own marginal reference of their own Bible. So, are we just uh, saying a thing there? Well, the primary, the primary verses that we should consider here is, uh, and it is very clear that those who are leading the churches, the local churches, should be paid because of their hard work for the upbuilding of the church members and propagating of the good news. And also, the church, the other church workers who, has, uh, who are uh, their uh, companions in doing that work, like the ministerial servants and the regular pioneers inside the congregation of the Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, this uh, primary verses that we're going to consider here is the 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 1 to 14. On that uh, verses, Paul has uh, put his strong argument that the church workers and leaders should be provided with their material things from the churches. The churches or the local church wherein they serve should provide those things, those material uh, things for them to be able to to their, do their work of leading the services or the necessary things for the churches and the propagation of the good news. And uh, at verse 7, if you will uh, read your Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, he uses three illustrations there to stress his point. The one is the 
the soldier. He asked there, uh, do you know any soldier who served in the military at his own expense? <laughs> it is unthinkable because the very word salary came from the Roman Greek, uh, from uh, Roma, uh, Roman Greek, uh, Romans, I should say, Romans word salary, which means the provision that the Roma, that a Roman soldiers get from their, uh, get from their services. So, it is a compensation. It is a wages that uh, should be paid to a soldier. So, he likened the church worker to a soldier. They should not uh, provide for their own necessities in life. The churches or the members of the churches should do that for them. Should provide that necessary things. And also, he uses the illustration of uh, shepherd who tend to his flock. Well, Apostle Say said that uh, he eats or he drinks milk from his flock. He eats meat from his uh, own herd. And also, the farmer who plants his vineyard, he eats fruits from his, uh, from his crepes or from his uh, plants. So, the verse 14 is very clear. The Lord has commanded that those who are proclaiming the good news should be supported or be provided in their uh, living by means of their ministry of the good news. But the Jehovah's Witnesses has a very, uh, very different translation on that verse and uh, so they ignored that. When it comes to their hierarchy or organizational uh, setup, the local elders or body of elders along with their helpers, the ministerial servants, and the full-time ministers or church workers, the regular pioneers, are the ones in the front lines of propagating their faith to the community. And they are the ones who upbuild primarily. They are the ones in the lead of upbuilding the members of the church of their own local church but in the jehovah's witnesses religion they do not receive any monetary compensation or whatever support from their organization or even from the congregation itself they are not uh, given any part of the donation from the local brothers or any support from the church administration, the governing body or their branch office, offices, they do not receive any support. So, it is a very sad, a very sad story for those who has uh, uh, used their whole life to serve in their congregation and uh, at their own age. At their old age, they have no support whatsoever from the congregation or from the organization, main office of the organization that they have uh, served for their whole lives. The special pioneers who use their own meager income if uh, they have any part-time job. They use their own income to support their ministry, the, the transportation fare, their own clothes, all the necessities in life. They use for the ministry and uh, they have uh, come to believe, they have been convinced by their organization that they should do it free of church but the bible is very clear and the verses that i have mentioned first corinthians chapter 9 verses 1 to 14 it is the lord who commanded that uh, those who are serving in the churches should uh, receive their mon monetary support from the congregation or from the organization which deserve. But on that uh, part, 
the Watch Tower or the Jehovah's Witnesses Organization failed miserably. So, it is a pity that many, they are the most numerous uh, church worker inside the Jehovah's Witnesses, the regular pioneers. It is not the Betalites or the one who work in their uh, national or main headquarters that are the most numerous, but it is the frontliners, the regular pioneers, and uh, the local elders and the local congregations that are the frontliners or the backbones of their organization. But uh, it is sad that they receive nothing at all. So, uh, this all this is all for uh, this episode and I just hope uh, for you, my viewers, that once again, I have enlightened you uh, to a particular subject in the Bible and how the Jehovah's Witness religion has failed on this aspect. Thank you and may you have a good day.